This is Jeff Gribby, and this is my market moment for March 21st. Be sure to like, follow, and subscribe to this page to get each week's market info. And I would love to see your comments below. As home prices continue to rise, people remember what happened when the housing market crashed and they worry about a housing bubble. Realtor.com did a study and found 77% of consumers feel there's a housing bubble in their market. But what is more surprising is that 44% of agents feel the same way. So let's look at the facts of the current market compared to the housing crash in the 2000s. This slide shows that inventory of homes today is nothing like the last time. This is the month supply of existing homes for sale in December of each year. The orange bars on the left, 2000 to 2010, show that we were in a buyer's market. We had an oversupply of homes. And today you can see on the right side, over in the blue bars, 2018 to 2021. So even in 2018, when we had 3.7 months of inventory on the market, and that was low going into the pandemic, and then look at 2020 and 2021, simply not enough homes to go around. So when there aren't enough homes in the market, that's what drives prices up. But it is a significantly different market than what we had in the housing crash. Even with low inventory, we hit a 15 year record high of existing home sales in 2021. So what does that say? That says buyers are out there. They're looking for homes, they're purchasing homes, and they're actively in the process. And we have high buyer demand. And the truth is that people who are purchasing the homes can afford them this time. And I say that because I want to share this data here that shows credit scores are nothing like the last time either. This is the volume of loans in billions with a credit score of less than 620. Significantly more loans issued to buyers who had a credit score of less than 620 from 2003 to 2007. In 2008 to 2021, you can see those lending standards have gotten much tighter. These are very different lending standards creating a landscape that's nothing like the last time. Also, homeowners have significantly more equity today, so they're in a much better financial position. But the reality is, we know that people still have concerns, and we want to ease those fears by helping you understand what the data is saying when it comes to the housing market. Because as people see prices rising, they start to fear this is just like the last time. And it just simply isn't. I think this is really important conversation to have with those who are potentially still renting right now, but could buy a home. We will look more at that on this week's Thursday Thought. I would love to hear your comments below and remember to like, follow, or subscribe to this page for each week's Market Moments. This is Jeff Greeby. Have a great day.